guys, so today I'm going to be talking all about skincare, just everything that I use on my face in the morning, at night, just everything. I'm going to just show you all the different products that I use, kind of why I like them, what they do for my skin, and um, keep in mind that just because these work for my skin doesn't mean that they're going to work for your skin. My skin type is combination. Growing up, like in high school, it was always kind of combination leaning on the oily side and now it's kind of turned into more combination dry skin. So I definitely have to hydrate my skin a lot more. I used to use like those oil sheets all the time and now I have like five of them everywhere and I don't even ever reach for them. My skin changes like every single day. I feel like I'm constantly changing the products that I use to just accommodate how my skin's acting at the time. So you'll see that I have like three different nighttime moisturizers because it just kind of depends on what I want to put on my skin, if I want extra moisture um, and stuff like that. So I hope you guys all enjoy this video and um, yeah, if you want to see what I use on my face, then just keep on watching. So I have tried so many different skincare products. Proactive I used in high school for about a year and I liked it, but then I just never repurchased it. I've tried so many drugstore skincare products. I went through a phase when I used Aveeno all the time and now I can't use Aveeno at all. It just really irritates my skin and like I mentioned in my other video, the ingredients are just like very irritating products for most skin types. A lot of added fragrances. Same with Origins. I used to use a lot of Origins and <clears throat> was just kind of realizing lately because I was using them up until like a month ago and my skin was just really red and it wasn't really doing anything. I didn't really know what was going on. And I started doing more research into the ingredients that I was using and there's just a lot of added fragrances in Origins products, which is why they smell amazing. Like if you go into an Origins store and just open one of their bottles, it's just like the best citrus smell. I love it. But since it smells so good, there's all those fragrances in there which can really irritate your skin and that was making my skin really, really red. I just went through my Origins products and just kind of took some of them out um, like here and there and just realized that it made a big improvement in my skin by not using them. Like I was using Vitazing, I feel like I've talked about Vitazing to you guys forever and I don't use it anymore and it wasn't really doing anything for me. So I've just... I use a lot of things, I try a lot of new products, so what I have right now has been working great for my skin, which is why I wanted to do this video now because I feel like it's taken me a long time to kind of accumulate products that I really actually like. I'm going to start with cleanse or like makeup removers, cleansers, toners, and just go in the order that I use them on my face, and then I'll let you know if I use them in the morning or at night or both or whatever. So starting with makeup remover, I have been using the same type of makeup remover for the past over a year, a year or two or so. It is the Alba Unpetroleum Jelly and it is just a blend of beeswax, castor oil, and coconut oil and it's just kind of like a thick jelly and I love it because it's all natural so it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. It's just like a pure, pure ingredients in here. I just take a like a dime sized amount of this and I rub it between my palms and mix it with whatever gentle cleanser I have at the time. The one that I've been using for a really long time is the Michael Todd Honey and Oat, and it is a gentle deep pore cleanser. And the thing I like about this is it doesn't irritate my eyes at all, my skin at all, and it really does just remove everything from your skin. And when you're using the combination of these together, everything gets melted off. I can use this alone without this sometimes, depending on the mascara that I wear. Like I've been trying the Benefit The Real and I definitely have to use this because it's harder to get off. But if I'm just using like my Revlon mascara, I can just stick with this and it'll get everything off. This leaves your skin just feeling nice and moisturized, not stripped or anything like that. The other good thing about Michael Todd products, which I really like, is they're aloe based instead of water based. So they're really hydrating your skin. I love aloe vera. A lot of the times I'll just put like pure aloe on my face overnight and it just kind of heals my skin. I get my makeup off and then I'll actually, then I'll wash my face again to wash the actual skin instead of just my makeup if that makes sense. A lot of the times I'll just use more of this and I'll pump it on my Clarisonic. I usually use my Clarisonic like every other day or so and it just really helps to keep my skin really soft and gives my skin just a really really deep clean. It is pricey but it's a definitely a good investment for your skin. 
So if I don't use this, um, I will use a scrub or I'll use what other one do I have? This is the Cebu Sea Buckthorn Balancing Facial Cleanser, and this is a very hydrating cleanser. It has little bits of exfoliation in here. This is the Cebu, this is the actual scrub. This is the Sea Buckthorn Exfoliating Scrub. So if I want just a little bit like of a deeper clean, I'll use this. I do that morning and night. I don't, I don't take my makeup off in the morning because I don't have makeup on in the morning, but I use the same products for washing my skin in the morning and at night. Moving on to toner, I always use a toner. I just love the way toners leave your skin feeling just kind of refreshed and balanced and gets rid of any last traces of makeup or dirt. So I usually kind of rotate between two. Um, one is just rose water. I just love pure rose water. It's super hydrating and just feels amazing on your skin. I use this actually for my makeup setting spray today. I'll just kind of mist it over if my skin feels tight. Any type of rose water, just pure rose water, works really nice um, and hydrates your skin really well. So you can just mist this all over your face or put it on a cotton pad if you want like a more saturated application of it. And the other one that I have is the Michael Todd Cranberry Antiox. It's a hydrating anti-aging toner. This stuff smells so good. It's kind of like a sweet cranberry smell and it says it hydrates, balances, and it neutralizes impurities, and it's for normal to dry, mature, and combination skin. So basically everybody. But I like this, again, for the same reason. It really puts some moisture back into my skin. It doesn't really tighten my skin up. It leaves it feeling nice and refreshed. So after I use my toner, this is a time when I kind of treat my skin for any problem areas. If I have breakouts, this is when I apply something for them, or if I have redness, I'll put a serum or something on. So. For breakouts, I have two things that I really love. The first is just tea tree oil. This is the Desert Essence Organic Lavender Tea Tree Oil. So what I do with this is put it on pimples when I have like those kind of deep cystic underground pimples, the ones that are just red and kind of sore to the touch. I use the tea tree oil because it really helps um, get, kill bacteria. So I feel that it keeps my pimples from getting any bigger. Sometimes I'll just spot tree or put it all over my skin. And then I do pop my, okay, I know you're not supposed to pop your pimples, but I'm just going to be real and tell you that I do pop them if they are white. If they're like white and nasty, I pop them because first of all, a lot of the times they hurt and I feel like popping them just like, just feels a lot better. Um, and I just can't look at it, honestly. So I'm not recommending it because I know you're not supposed to. I know it can leave scars and stuff. I know that, but I'm just telling you that I do. Um, and so after, if I do pop it, I'll, I use um, a piece of toilet paper or something and I don't, I don't put my fingers directly on my skin and I just press lightly. I only pop them if they're like really like gonna burst, you know? And then after I treat it so it heals right away, um, this is the Cebu Sea Buckthorn Seed Oil and it's just a pure oil and again, I either spot treat with this or I just apply it all over my face and I just feel like this is kind of a miracle product. I love this stuff. I think this is like my fourth bottle of it. And it just heals anything. It'll heal, heal like scars, rosacea, eczema. I don't have eczema, but I've heard that it does. And it even says on the back that it does. I use this for pimples. And I'll just kind of put it on there overnight. And in the morning, it is significant, significantly reduced. So I love this stuff. I know it sounds crazy to put oil on your pimples and everybody I tell this to looks at me like I'm insane. But honestly, I've been using this for years now and I love it and I will never use anything else. And then I do have one serum that I use. The one I have is the Michael Todd Antiox Serum and it has DMAE and alpha lipoic acid. And I will get, I'll talk about some skin supplements I have at the end of the video if you're interested in that. The DMAE and the uh, ALA are really good for preventing future sun damage and also treating past sun damage, which is kind of my main like problem area. I feel like I have a lot of redness on my skin because of the sun. I'm in the sun a lot. Living in Southern California my entire life has definitely taken a toll on my skin. It's I do wear sunscreen, but obviously growing up I didn't wear sunscreen every single day. And now I'm starting to see kind of those repercussions of laying out all the time. So um, this is just a good serum to really tighten your skin and you can just kind of feel it working. But definitely a good more natural serum if you're looking for a new one. And then one other like treatment type thing I have is the Paula's Choice 
skin perfecting 2% BHA liquid and it has salicylic acid in here and this is for evening out your skin tone, reducing redness and getting rid of like enlarged pores and I use this about two times a week and I use this after my, what is it, after my toner? Yeah, after toned skin. It's kind of like the serum. If my skin is looking a little bit dull, um, these two are kind of good go-tos. And I use these ones at night only just because of the ingredients in here. This can um, make your skin a little bit more susceptible to the sun, so I use these at night. Okay, moving on to moisturizers. So for the daytime, I put on my sunscreen before I put on my moisturizer. I feel that it blends easier that way, just putting it on right after your toner and just kind of I don't know, it just it works the best for me. So the two that I've been using, one is a deluxe sample that I got from Sephora and I've just been really, really liking it. It's the Murad Oil Free Sunscreen and it's the SPF 30. And I like it because it's very lightweight and very easy to blend and just feels like nothing on your skin. So I would definitely look into buying the full size of that. And the other one is the True Natural All Natural Sunscreen and it's SPF 15 and 100% mineral based, gluten free and it's a vegan formula so this is another good sheer one and it does dry quickly so you have to put it on blend it out really fast and then for my day moisturizer I use the Cebu repair and protect sea buckthorn daytime facial cream this is a very very lightweight moisturizer I don't use this in the winter or when my face is extra dry this is more of a spring and summer type moisturizer or if you have really oily skin. But this is just a very lightweight moisturizer. It kind of tightens your skin and you can kind of feel it like helping your skin at the same time. And then for my nighttime moisturizers, I use either, if my skin is really, really dry, I love the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. Actually, I don't even use this when my skin's really dry. If I just want like a, a good moisturizing treatment. I love this stuff. It feels amazing on your skin. This is so good for your hair, but I kind of treat this like liquid gold and I don't like to waste it. So I'll put like, a little bit on my ends, but oh my gosh, if you put it on your hair, your hair is so silky and amazing. This is my second bottle of this and the big size really lasts a long time. So don't be afraid by the price tag because it will last you forever. I have tried other argan oils. I've tried one that I got on Vitacost, but it wasn't as good. But I do want to try the Acure one. So if you try the Acure one and the Josie Marin one, let me know so I could save a little money. But yeah, I just put this all over my skin. I use this at night. I don't use it during the day because it, like, your face will be oily. But when you wake up in the morning, your skin is just so like plump and hydrated. It's just a great moisturizer. And then if I want like a light moisturizing treatment at night, I use the Orcasia Rosehip Oil. It's just rosehip oil and vitamin E. So I pump a couple pumps of the rosehip oil on a cotton pad and a few drops of my tea tree oil and just use that all over my face. And it just gives me a little bit of moisture but really um, just helps my skin kind of heal overnight. Christine from Pink So Foxy was the one who introduced me to this little combination which I love. And then one last moisturizer that I have at night is the Revival Labs Alpha Lipoca Acid Vitamin C Ester and DMA Cream. DMAE cream. This is just kind of my go-to moisturizer. So this is the one I use most often. It's just a kind of gel-like consistency. So it's not super thick, but it's not super light. It's the perfect amount of moisturization for my skin. And really when I wake up in the morning with this, my pores look smaller. My skin just looks amazing. It's, it's like, I love this product. The only negative about this is that it's in a jar. So it can you know get bacteria in there since it's not out of like a pump but I love this so I think I'm gonna buy it forever just it's it's amazing and then as far as eye creams go I have tried a lot of eye creams and have never really liked one that much I have little like white dots a little milia under my eyes and nothing's ever helped that before I don't know I always felt like eye creams just don't really do I don't notice anything until I tried this little guy this is the Re9 Advanced Corrective Eye Cream by Arbonne and this has, I've been using this for about a month and the day after I used this I already noticed a difference. The biggest thing, it's definitely helped my milia which no other eye cream has and I feel like it just makes my under eyes look very smooth. It helps reduce like any fine lines I have underneath and it's brightened my under eyes at the same time. So. 
I've noticed a huge improvement. I love this stuff. It's like the best consistency. It's amazing. And then two products that I keep in my shower at all times. The first is the Avalon Organics Exfoliating Enzyme Scrub. This is in the lavender scent. It is very gentle. So if you have very sensitive skin, I would highly suggest this. I feel like it's just a very calming scrub. That's why I like to have it in the shower. It's just like soothing and relaxing. It has white tea and vitamin E for antioxidants, licorice root, coleus oil uh, are good for troubled skin, and then organic flax, borage, and rosehip oils rich in fatty acids restore the skin's moisture balance. So you're scrubbing your skin but it's also hydrating you at the same time. This is the best scrub ever. And then I always keep just a mild cleanser in the shower too. This is the Alba Botanica Coconut Milk Deep Cleansing Facial Wash and this is a very very gentle cleanser if you just want something that's not going to irritate your skin. It's very mild and it's just a good one to just kind of it's very soft. I just put it on my skin and kind of let it absorb for a minute or so and then wash it off and it's just, it's nice. So that is everything that I use on my skin. I know it sounds like a ton of products, but personally, like I find my skincare routine really relaxing and especially at the end of the day, just unwinding and just kind of applying my oils. I love it. And it's definitely switching to more oils and um, products with less ingredients has really helped my skin improve a lot. It's reduced a lot of redness and I rarely break out now. And I used like a couple years ago I had pretty bad breakouts going on and don't really deal with that at all anymore. I did also want to mention some supplements that I use. When I use them more frequently I definitely notice a difference in my skin. Also if I am breaking out or something and if I start taking my supplements more it helps almost immediately. So. I have three different ones that I have. I kind of rotate between them. I don't take all of them at once. I take, I kind of just keep one out on the counter and I'll just use that one up and move on to the next. So this is the women's formula multivitamin and mineral. This one's from Trader Joe's and it's just your standard women's vitamin. Um, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D3, and vitamin E are like kind of your main sources. There's also folic acid, B12, biotin, you know, a lot of different things on there. And then the ones that I'm currently using are the Age Defense by CSI and I love this brand. The, I get them off Vitacost. I had one that was with vitamin E. It was the alpha lipoic acid and vitamin E I think. This one is vitamin C which again is really good for your skin and for uh, sun damage. So this just has vitamin C, DMAE and alpha lipoic acid in here and you will see this is basically what is in my moisturizer. So these types of ingredients have really helped with my skin. And then the other one I have is the Maxi Hair Country Life and just another hair, skin, and nails one. They all, you know, have the same ingredients. Just any hair, skin, and nails supplement is going to do the trick for you. This is a little more concentrated with just those key ingredients, so it's kind of up to you, whatever works for your skin. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys in seeing what I use on my skin. If you have any recommendations for me, please leave them down below because I'm always trying new products out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!